one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Well, that's all I wanted to ask. For now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. Uh, this is still my office. I think you're up to something. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. Okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. Uh, I got something else. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. All right, dude. I need to find a way. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. I th hey, get out of there, Calavera. Fuck. Alright, I need to find a client. A good client. Not the shitty clients they're sending me. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. Maybe we can go and... Let's go to the parade outside. Maybe that will give me a lead because I don't see anywhere else in here. That guy's a fucking douche. I can't talk to her. She's not going to tell me anything. That's the only thing I could think of because oh, these doors are locked. Never get out of this oh. place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air. Sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. All right, these doors were locked. Not anymore. Oh, I got it. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Maybe I can. All right, guys, so... Basically, I had to go and look up what I did wrong because I fucked up. So basically, you have to come in here, ask this guy for dead you worms. Dead worms back there? Well, sure. Two of them, and I did all this, but like I did all it, but uh, I forgot to do one part. That's not what balloons are for. Let's see. Let's put that away. My kid died. So I'm gonna do another dead worm. Well. Alright, so now that I have two, I'm gonna put them away. And I did all this, but then like I was wondering why. I'm like, I can I get in that server room? Right? And I'll show you guys why I couldn't get in there. So once you got those balloons, you gotta come in this little room and you gotta fill one of them each. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Select that. Put that away. Get the other one. Okay. And okay. Now we got these, we gotta run over to our office. Go, Manny, go! Go upstairs.
stairs. And in our office, there was a deck of cards that I picked up earlier that were right here. And we're gonna use those later, but right now we just gotta send. No, open that. I'm gonna send each one of these down the tubes. Just like that. And then we gotta get the other one out of our pockets. Whoop. And that's gonna break the machine, so then you'll see. I gotta stop doing this. He said I gotta stop doing this because I've already done it before, Cause, but I messed it up, right? So, when you do that, Server's down again. you go down and talk to that dude that like was pissed off about his job or whatever, he should be fixing it. But what I messed up in was that I didn't, you have to lock this right here. You gotta open that lock. I've just locked an open door. Strange. Yet. You gotta talk to him. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. And if you talk to him initially, he'll be like, yeah, man, like, fuck off. I hate this job, all this stuff. But uh, this is the second time doing this, so he won't tell me anything. Anyways, you leave. And this is where I messed up the first time. When he leaves, he closes the door. But it, since, I hadn't, for government work. since I hadn't unlocked the door, or locked the door, then... It just locked again, but this time it's open. So this time I can go back in here and open the door. And then that deck of cards, I, um, let's see, I used the hole punch uh, in front of the girl's office or the front, the girl's desk. And I, hold, I made like a bunch of holes in it. And then just use that on this red tube, and that's that. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, blah, blah. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes. Volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh yeah, and it's even better company now. I'm in. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Interesting. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Were you 
a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Alright, so, that was a lot. It actually took me a while to figure that out, but next time I'll be more prepared. So, that was the first part of Grim Fandango. This game looks pretty fucking dope. I love the story so far. Hopefully we can help Manny out, man, because he seems like a good Grim Reaper. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time we play Grim Fandango.